Hello future doctors, I am Dr. Shaw Mukherjee and welcome back to my channel. If you are preparing for FMG and you are short on time, then this video is for you. This video will save your life. I am going to share with you the top 10 repeated topics across all the FMG papers. These are high yield, frequently asked and must revise topics before your exam. Stay tuned till the end. I will share with you a bonus tip which will definitely help to increase your marks in the upcoming FMG exam. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe, like and comment your feedback. You can also watch my rapid revision videos. I have done rapid revision of 9 subjects. You can go and watch those videos. If you want those PDFs of the notes, the link for that will be given in the comment box. Also, you can join my telegram channel. It will help you boost your preparation and you will get the latest updates for all your exams. So let's get started with the top 10 most repeated topics in FMG. Our first subject will be physiology and biochemistry. Acid based disorders is very very important. You have to understand the concepts, the case based scenarios, the case based MCQs based on acid based disorders. You have to understand the interpretation of ABG, how to interpret that and how metabolic acidosis and respiratory alkalosis and how to compensate that so everything has to be clear so understand this concept and practice as many as guest based scenarios as possible from this topic the second is from anatomy which is cranial nerve lesions especially the third fifth seventh ninth tenth and twelfth nerves also bell's palsy the clinical scenarios based on bell's palsy it is a very hot topic previous january exam also two questions came from bell's palsy image based questions will come you have to understand the tosis the tongue deviation, everything and you have to differentiate between upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron. So, we have to make this concept clear. It is also interrelating with your ENT. So, visual aids help to retain. So, what will happen? If you look at the images again and again, it will help you reduce your time consumption in your exam. In exam, image based questions will come and they will try to reduce your, give like they will want you to spend more time in such questions. So, if you revise, if you look at the images again and again, it will help you in the exam hall. For pharmacology, you have to revise the autonomic nervous system very well. Autonomic nervous system, the alpha, beta and the muscarinic receptors, the drugs acting on such receptors, difference between sympathetic and parasympathetic, the antidotes, drug interactions and keywords like pilocarpine, atropine, beta blockers, what is their function, where we are using them, what is their mechanism of action and neostigmine. So, you can revise it from my pharma reproduction notes. I have covered everything. So, this is the important topic in pharma. From micro and PSM, it's interrelating with PSM also, tuberculosis and leprosy. So, you have to understand the classification, the drugs, MDT, DOTS technique, side effects of the drugs, new NETP guidelines and also the leprosy nerve involvement, which nerves are involved in leprosy, okay. The reactions, the reformation related MCQ. So, everything you have to revise properly from micro and PSM regarding leprosy and tuberculosis. From medicine, cardiac murmurs are often asked, cardiac murmurs and ECG interpretation like the common heart sound and the murmurs, arterial stenosis, mitral regurgitation, ventral septal defect, the congenital heart disorders, ECG patterns, the differentiation between ST elevated, non-ST elevated, arterial fibrillation, heart blocks. So, everything you have to understand and also these are very, very important questions which are often asked in medicine. From PSM, vaccine and immunization schedule is a must. You should not forget to revise it before going to the exam. The national immunization schedule, the cold strength storage, okay, vitamin A, what will be the doses, the total dose, vaccine bile monitoring, the images and the iceberg phenomena from vaccines, new vaccine updates, these are most often asked. One to two questions you can expect from here. From OBGYN and surgery, breast cancer and cervical cancer is very, very important. So, screening, the pap smear, VIA. Figo staging, modified radical mastectomy from OBGYN, triple assessment, all these need to be revised. Along with that, from surgery, you can revise the burn, how to calculate the burn surface area for adults, for children. And for OBGYN, you can revise the, you can look at the instruments, the instrument photographs. Uh, at least two or one question will definitely come from the instruments. Maybe it be surgery or OBGYN. From pediatrics, milestones is definitely. So, first smile, first sitting, walking must memorize, you should must memorize the tables, revise one day before going to the exam because now you will forget, so revise one day before going to the exam. Ricket scurvy, protein energy malnutrition, differentiating between Quashirkar and marasmus, what will be the different features, the difference between the images, image based questions may come from Quashirkar and marasmus. The vaccine preventable diseases like polio, measles, everything you have to revise, okay, from pediatrics. From pathology, inflammation and neoplasia, so acute versus chronic inflammation, cell injury, apoptosis, necrosis, the images, tumor markers, benign versus malignant features, 
and if you have studied from robins it's okay but these are the most important topics also revise the hematology portion very well because no question has come from the hemat in the last exam so there is high chance that from hemat a question will come and radiology signs and spotters image based questions are very like very frequent nowadays from radiology they will interrelate with your orthopedic and anatomy so 9 to 10 10 to 12 questions may come key signs like the ground glass opacity double bubble sign soap bubble sign all these are very important snowstorm in molar pregnancy these are important pcos so these image based questions may come from radiology interrelating with your obgyn or surgery and as i told you i will give you a bonus tip so if you want to score 150 plus studying hard is not only enough you have to study smart so study smart make a priority list priority list i mean that you should make a list of what subjects you will be revising in the next 3 weeks what subjects you will be revising 3 days before the exam and night before the exam everything should be clear a perfect plan and you should prioritize everything okay revise this 10 topics at least 3 times before the exam these 10 topics are the most repeated ones and if you are studying from my rapid revision notes if you are referring to the rapid revision notes those are very short and crisp notes you can revise them in 5 to 6 hours nine subjects i have already made a uh, few more subjects are coming so just revise them three to four times and you are good to go in the exam you can expect more than 85% questions in the exam also practice mcqs practice previous year questions if you are not have any app access you can join my telegram group i am daily conducting custom modules of 100 questions daily one subject so 19 subject in 19 days and if you want the pdf of my notes the link for that will be given in the comment section so i wish you all the best study hard for the exam and i wish all of you will pass with good marks thank you have a good day